Hi Leo, welcome to your spirit guide messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we are going to deliver the messages from spirit right now, what you need to know right now. So these are your spirit guide messages. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for sun, moon, rising and Jupiter, male or female. And uh, I guess take the messages and how they resonate for you. This is guidance, advice, um, can be clarity, confirmation, or just what you need to know right now. So take it as you see fit or only take it at how it resonates for you. So we'll see what the messages spirit has for you at this time for Leo. So all the decks are listed below if you're interested um, in what decks I'm using. And you can also find your playlist down below um, if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, Love and General is down there, so you can check that out. A lot of stuff down there. If you'd like to book a private reading or donate or send a gift or mail, that info is below um, also, social media links. So feel free to check that out. And also, if you're new and you like how I read, uh, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. So let's see what Spirit has. I will be pulling three oracles from each deck, and I'll be clarifying the oracles with tarot, maybe one or two for each card. And then I have these prayer cards, and I'll pull one of those for you as a closing message. So let's get three messages for Leo. What does Leo need to know right now? Sun, moon, rising, and Jupiter. Spirit guide messages for Leo at this time. There's one. Let's get two more. Two more for Leo. At this time, what do they need to know? One more for a Leo. Leo Spirit, please. What are your messages for Leo? Pull that one. All right. So I'm going to pull them all, and then I'll go over them uh, at the end. So let's pull three of these. Those are the numerology cards. These are the moonology cards. These here are the soul's journey, and then I'll be clarifying with the spellcasters. And those prayer cards, I um, actually got them at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know if you could find them at uh, every Dollar Tree, but um, I'm not even sure who uh, produced them or printed them, but I thought they were cute and they had two packs and they were different. So I said, oh, I'm gonna use those. So, all right, Moonology here. Let's get three cards for Leo. What does Spirit need to know right now? What does Spirit need to know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what does Leo need to know right now from Spirit? Okay, I'm pulling these two and this one. All right, so let's dig into the soul's journey. What are the messages for Leo at this time? Spirit guide messages for Leo. Spirit guide messages for Leo. Spirit guide messages for Leo. If you guys would prefer me to pull these cards before I come on camera, you can let me know, but I like to show the shuffling and how I uh, get the cards rather than just having them here um, on the table when I start the reading. So, But if you prefer to not watch the shuffling and having them laid out on the table in this manner, rather just have me pulled ahead of time and then come on camera, uh, you can let me know. Or um, maybe I'll put a timestamp. I don't know. So what are the messages for Leo? Spirit guide messages for Leo. One. Let's get two more for Leo. One more. Messages most needed for Leo from Spirit at this time. Thank you so much. That one. All right, let's see what we have for you, Leo. What are your messages? So we have 14 here, moderation. So 14 is about is five, which is about change or challenge. So there may be something here that maybe uh, you need to change or moderate that may be a little bit of a challenge for you. So, so you need something to do here, moderation. So whatever that is to you, something you're doing too much of, whatever it is, it's time to change and moderate that energy. And it may be a little bit of a challenge. It could be something like quitting smoking or drinking too much or maybe eating too much or eating too much chocolate. I, I don't know, something here. So we're going to clarify with the tarot. So however that resonates for you. And then here we have eight manifestation and eight is about taking action, travel communication. So some of you may need to take action here. If you've been thinking about starting something new or starting to uh, 
do something, manifesting something new in your life, or a new project, idea, endeavor, business, I mean, whatever it is for you, now is the time to take action, because eight is about taking action and manifest this. We have 19, pride. So we have 19, which is 10. Tens are about completions, and then one is a new beginning. So, I mean, some of you, um, pride can also be like um, a little bit of ego, maybe, um, kind of energy. Or it could be, you know, just being really um, prideful of what you've accomplished, what you're doing, um, self-worth. Maybe some of you here, it's about self-worth and having pride in what you've done, who you are. There's some sort of completion, a new beginning. And pride may be getting in your way of some sort of ending and new beginning. All right. So I'm, I'm getting kind of like an energy of keeping up the status quo and I just have to keep doing what I'm doing or being in the situation I am because of either reputation or worried about what others think. So there's that pride energy. So maybe that energy is keeping you from ending something and having a new beginning. So we'll see. So let's see what these have to say. So we have nothing yet is set in stone. So nothing, uh, something here, not sure what the outcome would be. Things can change, shift. Uh, so something here is not yet set in stone. And then we have here, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. So I don't know if cancer energy means anything to anybody, or it could be the time frame of cancer, which is the end of June into July. And then we have here, meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. So we have two new moons here. And over here it says manifestation, which would be about manifesting something in your life. But it's it could be about ending something to have a new beginning and manifesting that. Because we have new and new. So really thinking about something here. but And also letting you know you and your loved ones are safe. So maybe during this time that the world is in, you're worried about the virus. Maybe this is telling you... Um, you know, you and your loved ones are safe, so maybe, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So let's see what these have to say. And we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So if you're blaming others, <laughs> it's coming right into pride. If you're blaming others um, for things in your life, maybe it's now time to shift the blame because maybe pride maybe, you know, not willing to admit that you're at fault or something is your fault or you were wrong. It's time now to, to accept blame or accept you were wrong or accept for responsibility for whatever here. And we have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So these about this is about only having uh, relationships in your life that are for your highest good, that are emotionally fulfilling, um, that kind of energy and we have here growth I want to expand my conscious and my awareness so this could be learning something new this could be spiritual growth um, learning lessons life lessons about relationships and taking responsibility for things and not blaming others rather shifting the blame and I'm not saying you know everything in your life is your fault but if something is um, your fault, you know, living up to that, not letting pride get in or ego get in your way. Like, oh no, it's not my fault. You know, could have to do something with relationships, but it's growing, maturing, expanding your life, your lessons, uh, responsibility, um, and maybe even spirituality. So let's clarify these energies and see what we get for you, Leo. So a lot of different messages here. Um, also. So it may be time to end for some of you, maybe ego and um, pride, you know, kind of energy and take responsibility for things, if that makes sense for any, any of you. All right, so let's clarify these energies for Leo, mod, um, messages for spirit, spirit guide messages. So what is this moderation about for Leo? Moderation about for Leo spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is moderation about for the Leo general collective? Spirit guide messages for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, not Venus, Jupiter. 
male or female. Okay. So we have the Hierophant. So this is about spirituality, faith, uh, religion, st uh, structure, value, morals, institutional things such as um, education, in law, and all that kind of um, energy. So moderation here. Oh, so I'm feeling like here. All right, let me give me one more, one more, ten of cups energy. So that's total happiness, joy, fulfillment, in every single way. So some of you could be married here. Maybe there needs to be some sort of change. Um, in your relationship or if you're married or your commitment time to maybe moderate your energy how committed are you to your happiness and joy and your fulfillment in your home and family maybe there's something that needs change in moderation green you know reminds me of monetary so maybe you're working too much or uh, spending too much time elsewhere other than your happy home and family um, maybe it's time to moderate that energy change something there so that could be a message for some. All right, so let's get manifestation. What is that about for Leo? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Wow, my God, the Ace of Pentacles. So <laughs> if you've been thinking about starting a new career or, um, you know, education, more education or learning something new or a new endeavor, project, idea, a uh, new job or new career path, whatever it is here, it's time to manifest this because this is the Ace of Pentacles that which can lead to long-term stability, growth, abundance, prosperity, built on a firm foundation for the long term. So it's time to take action how, now and manifest whatever this is for you. This pe big pentacle here will lead you to the stability that you're looking for for a lifetime. So it's time to manifest that idea, that project, that business, that um, endeavor, whatever it is for you because you have the ace of pentacles there it's divinely guided for you so whatever idea that you had or you have has been divinely guided to you to say this is that's the path you're meant to be on what is this pride about for leo what is this pride about for the fool yeah so if, <laughs> if you've done um anything foolish uh, if you've taken like a leap of faith or you've done something here that was a little bit foolish or you're like, oh, why did I do that? Um, you know, it's time here to, you know, <laughs> don't let pride and ego get in the way and admit your faults or admit, okay, yeah, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that kind of energy. Okay. So, or I could also be telling you here. Don't let your pride ego get in the way of having, because we do have 19, which is 10 endings, a new beginning, because this fool leap right, leaps right into a new beginning. So like I said, if you're stuck in a situation, but you feel, okay, I can't change or whatever because of what others might think or my reputation or whatever here, don't let that get in the way of there being an ending, a new beginning and taking that leap of faith. So however that resonates for you, kind of two messages there. So what is, nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is about confusion. Um, I'm getting delays or confusion or options and choices. So there may be a choice you have to make or a decision or looking at all your options. Just know that you still have freedom here to change your mind, to um, yeah, change your mind or choose another option or look at other options or, um, you know, delay your decision because it's not set in stone yet. So I wouldn't get too worried about it if you feel like I have to make a decision now. I think, you know, you still have time. All right, it says mutable moon on there. So maybe, um, when is the next? 22 is the new, 22nd is the new moon. So I feel like you have up until like the next full moon to make a choice here, maybe for some of you. All right, I thought I saw something flip. All right, so, okay, what is you and your loved ones are safe? Four, for Leo, for Leo. 
because we have new new so this is something new in your life where you have to make a choice a decision or something or options to look at i think you have until the next full moon which would be uh next month next month probably the beginning of next month so you still have a few weeks so don't you know worry too much stress about it too much all right so what is this you and your loved ones are safe for leo the two of swords so this is kind of um unsure energy um not sure here about the safety of your family because you see <clears throat> The wolf, there may be uh, someone around you you see as a wolf who's not trustable. Um, you don't like their energy. You don't trust them. You think they're sneaky or doing things behind your back. You're unsure about them or indecisive about them. Not sure if you should cut them off, block them off here. But um, I don't know. Even though, you know, I'm, I'm not liking the energy, but I think you... you don't have to worry I think you're, you're gonna be safe just make sure you know you take all precautions to make sure you you and your family are safe um, I'm getting like a predator you keep that energy out however that means for you all right so that means extra security or making sure everything's locked snug secure um, your cars you know your home all right so I don't want to scare anybody but that's the messages so that may not be for everybody has something flip here so what do we have here for meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces so we have the eight of swords something you're stuck something feeling stuck or stuck in your head about something trapped mentally trapped so there's an the energy here really needing to think and contemplate about this so you can get this out of your head so you can clear your mind and um, clear your energy and remove this blockage so I feel like if you sit and meditate and think and contemplate more, um, you will uh, find your answer, your solution, and uh, remove this blockage. So whatever that is for you. <clears throat> All right. So you may be ignoring it by you know working too much or you know keeping busy or whatever. Um, I know that's hard right now. Some of us aren't working. But if you're doing other things other than avoiding some sort of blockage or um, something that you really don't want to deal with, I think if you just like sit, think about it, contemplate about it, maybe even talk to others, um, it'll help you uh, get this out of your mind and clear, clear that energy out here. It's like burning a hole in your brain. I mean, you got to really do something to get that energy out of there. All right, so what is this blame? I accept responsibility for my well-being. The Two of Pentacles. So this is juggling. This is um, back and forth energy, juggling, balancing, trying to balance yourself out. So if you've done things where, you know, it was out of balance or it wasn't the right decision at the time or um, maybe even affected your, your finances in some way, it's time to... Um, you know, accept responsibility for things. You know, it could be your well-being or the well-being of your finances or whatever here, whatever it is for you. Um, to know, okay, I made the wrong decision. Uh, I maybe didn't weigh out the options properly or the pros and cons. Um, so it's saying, you know, take responsibility for that energy. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to admit you're wrong or uh, whatever here. It's okay to accept that responsibility. But don't beat yourself up too much either. So I do see the dog back here, you know, which is a very loyal companion, loyal energy, trustworthy energy. So I, I don't think it was anything done out of like spite or like maybe you just didn't research enough or look into something enough and um, did something and then, okay, that wasn't right. It was a little out of whack. I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, hey, it's okay. I take responsibility and I move on. All right, so relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Four of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is an energy of holding on, holding back, not giving, not taking. So I feel here, if there's any relationships maybe where there's not equal give and take, um, maybe you give, 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 and they, and they take, and they don't give back or... 
it's all one-sided whatever here it's time to hold back your energy now from these relationships that don't serve your highest good because this four of pentacles is about holding on to you what you have your stability your mental health your physical health um it's time to hold back from those who do not serve your highest good that take 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 and they don't give back in return or they don't get their lives in order it's time to hold back your energy from those relationships all right so and you see this man who's kind of like protecting um himself his uh, goods here so so what is this growth i want to expand my conscious in consciousness and awareness my awareness or leo please the magician wow so we have manifestation over here wow so growth so by manifesting and i feel like it's connected to over here so i feel like manifesting some sort of new beginning uh project endeavor whatever here it's going to lead to growth in every single way uh, abundance prosperity uh, wealth um, emotional growth uh, physical growth I mean always by manifesting this and you see is um, lit up above his head here so whatever idea project like I said is only going to lead to growth beyond your expectations especially with the ace of Pentacles here at the bottom see here's the page of Pentacles so again learning something new or uh, advancing yourself or a stable offer coming in and or offering something out or stable communication here that's sincere it's trustable and can lead to this ace of pentacles and it all starts with manifestation and manifestation and taking that leap of faith wow so let's get a closing prayer for you leo let's get a closing prayer for leo please spirit thank you so much Closing prayer for Leo. Closing prayer for Leo. What is the closing prayer for Leo? Please, thank you so much. Wow. Okay. That went flying on the floor. And we have, with God, all things are possible. Exactly. Whatever here, all these things, all this energy with your faith, your spirituality, your higher knowing, your intuition, manifestation, letting go of pride and ego, taking responsibility, um, doing all this work, all things are possible. Okay, Leo, um, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.